started running planetarium shows with Mobile Planetarium in 2013. Now we have a fixed dome and two Mobiles Planetarium that we travel all over the state. I run Northern Stars Planetarium, a private planetarium business in central Maine in the United States. I started this business in 1987. I had been running a planetarium in northern Maine at a little science center. Uh, wonderful little planetarium, but it was a long way from where I wanted to live. The portable planetarium allowed me to live in the part of Maine I call home. I'm an astronomer and I used to work as a professional astronomer for several years. Um, I then decided to go into outreach due to various frustrations with the academic world. And when I moved back to Austria from the UK, I decided that I wanted to start my own mobile planetarium as a one-person business, which I did about two years ago. After the school, I became a nurse and worked in a general hospital and finished with my Masters of Physics in Astronomy, Space Science and Astrophysics in 2013. At the moment we have three mobile domes and travel the whole of Germany and very rarely in other European countries as well to educate children and adults. I started my own video production company along with my first classic portable planetarium back in 1992. Then I studied chemistry but decided to work with the planetarium as a way to express my interest for both astronomy and art. Uh, of Yves Lumont, the LSS planetarium website and there you can find instructions on how to build your own mobile projection system with a regular projector and a combination of lenses and that's what I did and so I found also the, the um, software that I'm using there which is Stellarium 360 and I just turned out to be exactly what I needed for what I wanted to do. To work in schools we had to get a special material for our tents which have to be specific fire protection standard. Projection system wise we use 2K and 4K digital projector for our 6.0, 7.3 and 7.5 meter tents. My business currently has two domes, a 4.8 meter dome and a 6.7 meter dome and I travel to schools in central Maine, uh, visiting approximately 80 to 100 schools a year and providing programming for between 16 and 18,000 students per year. I am the director of the Unipampa Planetarium in the south of Brazil, the southernmost state in Brazil, Rio Grande do Sul. We are in the city of Bagé. Uh, we are an university planetarium. From the Central Valley in Costa Rica, we are able to reach every corner of the country at most in a seven hour trip. So we serve everybody here. I think the best strategy to running a successful program is to have quality programming and live interactive presentations. Uh, talk about things you know and ask lots of questions and lead them through the discovery of whatever the topic might be. We usually have from 300 to 500 students per day in our planetarium and we are able to achieve that by designing a very effective and high impact presentation conceived both to educate and inspire. I think the most important strategy for such a business is quality as um, the only properly trained person in the field in our company I make sure all of our students that work for us are up to date with the latest development in astronomy and space flight. We have traveled to 25 cities all over the state. 18 of these cities uh, are distance learning centers of the university and then we visit each center 
that offers uh, geography courses. What has worked well for me is to interact with my audience inside the dome. So I'm basically trying to share my enthusiasm, my fascination of the subject with them. Uh, I give them my personal view, my, my awe of the cosmos. And I encourage them to interact with me, to get involved, to ask me questions. After the visit, we have sent valuation forms for all the teachers that attend the course and visit the planetarium with their schools. Uh, I get feedback from the teachers and audience members after the show, so sometimes even by email. Teachers and students have recognized us mostly for our quality, responsibility and customer service. We usually have immediate feedback from the teachers and students. Sometimes we get more detailed written feedback from the teachers if they want to improve the experience for the students the next time. Uh, my evaluation process is uh, online primarily or in person. I have evaluation forms available with all my uh, prep materials available for the teachers online and they often email those back to me or drop them in the mail to me and I have lots of discussions with teachers when I'm in the schools and they give me great feedback as to how to improve programming and a new program they like to see happen. Our most common challenge is weather and temperature since most of our country is hot and humid. Nowadays, we have extended our digital planetarium to basically any topic, so other companies and industries hire us for their presentations, and that goes way beyond astronomy, posing a new challenge every time. We had some uh, quite interesting um, opportunities with some um, artists at the uh, Mestec Museum in the Netherlands. We also had some really interesting venues where we actually had our shoe planetarium put. Uh, from time to time, mostly in Christmas time, we rent out our tent to a local planetarium club and um, they put um, the mobile dome in a church. Two of the most wonderful experiences I had in the mobile planetarium was a very, very, very poor school we visit and the second one when we received two deaf students uh, and I could talk just hi, how are you and using sign language and they just smile that they were so grateful that we had uh, translations for sign language in our mobile DOM. Uh, another time I worked at the main wildlife park. We set up outdoors under a blue tarp strung between trees and just before the audience arrived, a thunderstorm arrived with winds blowing very hard and rain coming in. And by the time we were ready for our audiences, we had 15 centimeters of water all over the inside of the dome. Shows didn't happen that night. I won't do that one again. I visit mainly schools and kindergartens, but uh, I also go to private events, of course. Uh, and public shows in public spaces, parks, squares. And I think that's what the mobile planetarium is really made for. It's uh, really the meaning of the word outreach. We reach out to audiences that might not even think of visiting a planetarium. And that is uh, one of the big strengths, I guess, of the mobile dome. Yeah.